Hey everyone, so the spring is here and it's time to take the Shelby out of hibernation. And because it's been sitting so long, it's basically due for an oil change. Now, if you are the owner of a GT350 that takes one of these cartridge style filters or you have a 2020 or newer GT500, this is the filter that is designed for your car. This is a special filter that was designed by Ford just for the Shelby because they have a much thicker oil and a much higher oil pressure. The early design 2062s that were originally specified for the GT350s has been succeeded by this filter. This filter is a much more robust design. It has a much better filter media and the filter itself has a metal core on the inside. As you can see, this has metal reinforcement. Most filters just have a plastic reinforcement. The issue is if you have tried to get an oil change on your Shelby with a cartridge filter in the last few months, you've probably come to find out that this filter is virtually impossible to get. This is on national back order, virtually everywhere. I've, I myself, as well as many other members on the Shelby forums, have called all the local dealers, and these are nearly impossible to find. And for the most part, any of the dealers that still have them remaining typically won't sell them unless it's to a customer in person or getting maintenance done at that dealer. So the problem that this is creating is many of the owner's manuals specifically say that this is the only filter that you are to use because this filter was designed specifically for the Shelby's. And a lot of people are very apprehensive about using something else because they are worried about voiding their warranty if they decide to use a different filter like the 2062 or one of the aftermarket, because this is the only one that has metal reinforcements inside it, designed to survive the much harsher conditions caused by the thicker oil and higher oil pressures from the Shelby vehicles. Now, because these are hard to get, the few remaining typically that you see online are going for very high markups. This is normally about a $30 filter. You're starting to see people charge upwards of $300 for these things online, and they are extremely scarce right now. So this is the last one that I personally have. My car's due for an oil change. My local dealers, none of them are able to get them. They've had them on back order for months with no sort of ETA available. Now, I called Ford Motor Company on their customer service line trying to get a direct answer from them and I wanted to see what they would say about using a different filter. So I have that audio recording from when I spoke with them. Welcome to the Ford Customer Relationship Center. In a few words, please say why you're calling today. Parts. Which vehicle are you calling about? Ford Mustang. To continually improve the quality of the service we provide, your call may be monitored or recorded. To better serve and understand our customers, we would like to ask you a few questions regarding your experience with us. When your call is completed, please remain on the line to participate in a brief survey. Thank you for calling Ford Motor Company. This is your experience specialist. How can I help you? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm looking to find out some information regarding there appears to be a nationwide shortage for the Ford FL 2087 oil filter. Essentially, what I'm looking to find out is, is there any sort of time frame when these filters will be readily available? And because the vehicle that I own specifically states in the owner's manual that that is the only oil filter to be used. I'm looking to find out if there's an alternative that has been approved by Ford that can be used. Okay, um, uh, do you get your, um, your oil changes at the dealership? Sometimes I do. I have been. However, I've called all of my local dealers as well as multiple online suppliers, and they are unable to find the filter that Ford specifies is the only filter to be used in my vehicle. Okay. Um, have they had the dealership ordered the filter? Yes, ma'am. They're on, they're on back order with no ETA of when they're going to be available. And this has been going on for many months now. 
Okay. Um, um, I can check to see if they've placed an escalation on that for you. Um, as far as making a part that um, is used secondary to that, um, I won't be able to confirm that, and I apologize. Um, but I can definitely um, check to make sure that they've placed that order um, at emergency status for you. Okay, yeah, I'd like to definitely know that as well as if there is any other approved alternative filter that can be used. Okay, and what's your um, VIN number, sir? The VIN number is... And this is for a 2020 Mustang? Correct. And what dealership are you working with? I've tried working with many different dealerships to try to get this, and they've all told me that they have the filter on order, and uh, they've basically been given no ETA when it will be available. Okay, so they're just, they've ordered it for their stock supply, not personally ordered for your vehicle. Well, they won't, right? take, they won't take the order because they know they can't get them because they can't even get them for stock. So whether I take the vehicle to the dealer for service or do it myself, they can't get the filter. And it specifically says in my owner's manual that this is the only filter to be used. And my concern is should I have to make a warranty claim, especially on something large like the engine, that that would potentially void the warranty because I am not aware of Ford approving the use of any other filter in the meantime. Okay, and... and Let's see here. What is the, um, do you have the part number to the filter? The filter part number is FL2087. FL2087? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, let me try to see if there's any information I can gather for you. Are you able to hold for me? Sure. Thank I mean, you it may take about five minutes to get this information. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. One moment. Hello, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thanks for waiting for me. Okay. So, um, I did, um, get information that you're able to use the after, aftermarket oil filter, um, to get your oil changed. Okay. Is, has Ford put this in writing at all or given any sort of notifications to owners about this? Because obviously my concern is uh, using something that was originally not approved for the vehicle. Um, I, I don't have this um, information in writing, but however, if a part is obsolete, you do have the ability to use aftermarket parts. Okay, and, and using aftermarket parts won't void the warranty if, there, if it comes down to there being a problem? No. Okay, yeah, because my concern would be, obviously, if I have to make a big warranty claim, something especially involving the engine, and uh, they find aftermarket parts, that that would void the warranty. Because I was trying to find this in writing somewhere, because no one's able to get this filter right now, but I haven't been able to actually find that, and the dealers won't, won't commit to that, because they haven't been able to get anything in writing from Ford Motor Company. Um, it, um, I don't have anything that, um, I can produce to you, sir, that's in writing. Right. Um, all I can advise you is that you are able to use the aftermarket part and it should not, um, do anything to your warranty because you're going to have, um, your maintenance records of you performing your oil changes as you should. That's what you would need to hold on to. Okay, and uh, were you able to find out any information regarding the uh, availability of that filter? Um, I have not called the dealership um, at this point. Okay, I just didn't know on the on the end of Ford Motor Company's supply chain because all the dealers have told me the same thing. So it seems like this is an issue from Ford. It's not just individual dealers getting theirs. So what, what happens when a part is ordered, they open a, um escalation case. Okay. Okay. Um, with that case, 
that case is um, able to track the order status, and if they're able to expedite it, they'll they'll be able to expedite it. Okay. But that is done at the dealership level. Okay. So that's why I asked, what what dealership were you working with? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was working with calls. You haven't placed an order with anyone. No, they won't even take the order because they have no idea when the ETA is. Because it's some of these dealers have had this the orders in for months, and they have they keep continually checking, and they give no ETA, so they won't even. I, I can't even get the oil changed because they can't get the part because I was concerned about using something that was not originally specified for the vehicle. Okay, I understand. Um, well, but that's the process. They open a, a case um, in regards to tracking the order to see if it can be expedited. Okay. Um, would Ford Performance also be a good place to call work because this is a Ford Performance filter for a Ford Performance vehicle? Would they have a little bit more information about this by chance? There is a possibility they may have some information for you, sir. Um, I don't have a number for that division. Okay. Would you like me to try to get you a number? Uh, yeah. If you, a number for you? Yeah, or if you could forward me, that would be great. Thank you. Are you able to hold for me? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. One Th moment. Thank you. Hello, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for waiting for me. Okay, so I pulled up the performance website, um, and it has the customer relationship center number, which you may have called to get in contact with me, which is the 800-392-3673 number. So if I call for performance, it'll put me through to you, back to you then? Correct. Okay. All right. So it's basically the same thing for, for both for customer service for them and for just general customer service. Absolutely. Okay. All right, that's all I wanted to know. Ma'am, thank you very much for your time, and thanks uh, to looking into this for me. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Did you have any additional questions? Uh, no, I do not. All right, so take that information as you will. There seems to be no sort of ETA of when the 2087 will be available. Now, personally, if you're going in for an oil change or you're due for one, I would speak with your local dealer about what they would do and what they would recommend if you're bringing your vehicle in as far as what filter that they would be using that they feel would be safe and see how what they would respond with as far as will this cause any sort of issue with your warranty so i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching